From a massive engine falling from the roof of a warehouse building, and a worker who found himself knee-deep in salmon when his conveyor belt broke, to a forklift accident that sent 2,000 glass bottles tumbling to the ground, and a worker who decided to play leapfrog after his pallet jack fell off the truck. Here are some of the most incredible warehouse failures caught on camera. Like factories and warehouses, auto body shops have plenty of danger lurking around every corner. We're talking about saws, gasoline, and heavy car parts. This next accident comes from a Russian garage where nobody trained their employees on fire safety. All it took was a small spark to send this building up in flames. Our friend in the green and black is the main culprit. Apparently, he didn't know there was a puddle of gasoline under the car he was working on. So, when he started welding, notably without a proper face shield, the sparks ignited the gas. His first thought is to raise the car, which may have made things worse. Lowering it could have smothered the fire, at least long enough for them to put it out. Raising it allows more oxygen to get to the fire. He looks underneath. Nope, still on fire, raise it some more. His co-workers panic in the background. One guy drops off a fire extinguisher and then bails. Another guy picks it up, moves it three feet, and then also runs away. Finally, a third guy picks it up, says nope, and scoots. Hmm, maybe they should have tried using it to put the fire out. One guy finally enters with the cutest little fire extinguisher we've ever seen. It doesn't help. Off to the bottom left, someone else misses with an entire bucket of water. Everyone gives up and evacuates the building. CCTV cameras keep rolling as the car melts and the garage fills with smoke. Even the roof starts collapsing, but we imagine everyone is long gone by then. Salmon canneries are commercial factories that specialize in, well, canning salmon. In Alaska, where basically all of our salmon comes from, these canneries used to be salteries, where the fish were salted before heading to market. Then we discovered how to can stuff, and it changed the world of food preservation. On July 7th of 2022, a cannery employee arrived for what was supposed to be a normal day at work. Their job, from what we could tell, was to monitor the conveyor belt unloading truckloads of fish. Something must have gone wrong with the machine, because before he knew it, he was up to his knees in salmon. The woman reviewing the footage mentions something about the hydraulics moving on their own. Our poor guy turns his back for two seconds, and the factory floor fills with fish. He springs into action and starts climbing for the emergency shutoff. Unfortunately, whoever installed the switch put it in the line of fire. In fact, whoever built this whole setup should be fired. Pushing down on the lever only opens the door further. Instead, he's supposed to push up on the lever to close the door. Can't we all agree that up should be up and down should be down? At this point, the only thing he could do was wade through the fish and climb atop the belt. He finally closes the hatch by pushing up on the lever. By then, he's left wondering how he's supposed to get down from there. We would have loved to see him cannonball into all that fish. There are an infinite amount of ways that you can hurt yourself at work. That's why most places have strict safety procedures and the best insurance policies money can buy. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, roughly 50,000 people are hurt by falling objects at work each year. That's one person every 10 minutes. Of course, some falling objects are heavier than others. A paint can will hurt, but it won't do nearly as much damage as a giant falling engine. Thankfully, these warehouse workers got out of the way when a multi-ton contraption fell from the sky. From the shadows cast over the warehouse floor, it looks like some giant cranes are moving an object overhead. One guy keeps his eye on it, while the other works on something in the background. Judging by our workers' body language, something doesn't seem right. Then, bang! A massive engine-looking object falls from the ceiling, narrowly missing him. Luckily, both men cleared the landing zone and walked away unharmed. 
We're unsure where this accident occurred or what exactly that machine was. According to one Redditor who claims to work with large engines, it was a Cummins QSK-78. These high horsepower engines are meant for large machines like excavators and boats. They're also pretty darn heavy. Forklifts play a major role in the global supply chain. They're how we load pallets of goods and move things around the warehouse. Things can be a little tricky, which is why all forklift operators need special training before they start driving. Of course, some objects are harder to move than others. Glass is a good example. In December of 2007, two UK blokes were tasked with moving rickety pallets full of glass bottles. Now, you'd think that they'd be shrink-wrapped or secured with foam or something. Nope. Once one bottle fell, the rest were doomed to fall. Who knew hundreds of breaking bottles made such a satisfying sound? It's almost like a rain stick. A very expensive rain stick. Not all forklift accidents are the driver's fault. Sometimes other people's ignorance causes the worst case scenario. All our next driver had to do was unload an 18-wheeler full of water bottles. Lucky for him, the truck had retractable sides, making it easy to offload the pallets. The trucker should also be able to see the driver in the side mirrors. We imagine this guy just wasn't paying attention. Our forklift driver seems to have trouble getting his arms in the right spot. He backs up, slams into the truck, and readjusts his forklift. Nothing seems to work. Then, for some unknown reason, the truck takes off, dragging the forklift with it. Our operator just narrowly escapes. He could have been crushed if he waited even a few seconds longer. We're not sure what prompted this trucker to randomly take off. Maybe he heard the thumping and thought, oh, that must be the signal. While forklifts move heavy objects from spot to spot, pallet jacks put them in place. Think of pallet jacks like handheld forklifts. Workers roll similar-looking arms under a stack of pallets and can easily move them around the factory floor. They'll also use them to move stuff around in delivery trucks. In December of 2014, two men in the Czech Republic were tasked with moving pallets of vodka off the truck and into storage. One man used a pallet jack to move the pallets to the end of the truck bed. Then, his partner on the forklift took care of the rest. The first load went smoothly. The second, not so much. Notice how the heavy vodka pallet weighs down the unloading ramp. The forklift comes and grabs it moments before Mr. Pallet Jack arrives with the next one. He, however, comes in a little too fast. The pallet slides forward and off the ramp, propelling him like a frog about 10 feet through the air. He takes a nasty spill, but walks away okay. That one was an accident. This next Pallet Jack clip is pure stupidity. This time, a man on a motorized jack, which is like a pallet jack forklift hybrid, thinks he's in a Tony Hawk video game. He tries to not a spin the jack, only to ruin his perfect combo. Now, we're not forklift certified, but we're pretty sure that's not how you're supposed to use one. One commenter said they watched this video during forklift training. Then, he and his buddies all went out and tried it. When people ask why you don't have children, show them this next video. It was January 14th of 2021. Two children were playing near a warehouse in the Chinese city of Puning. Unfortunately, they were playing with fireworks, and neither of their parents were around. Instead of shooting it straight up, they shot the firework toward a row of parked cars. What happened next probably got them grounded forever. The firework lands next to what looks like foam boxes. It spreads quickly, causing all the boxes to collapse. Within minutes, the fire had spread up to the warehouse wall.
It took firefighters over an hour to put the blaze out. Thankfully, nobody was hurt, but everything inside the warehouse was lost. That's unclear what happened to the kids. They probably ran away quickly and disappeared into a city of over 2 million people. Who would win in a fight? A warehouse full of glass or a 6.0 magnitude earthquake? Our money is on the earthquake. Deuce J. Cam is a glass processing and logistics company based in Istanbul, Turkey. As you can imagine, they have warehouses and factories across the country. Let's just say they had to break out the brooms when a 6.1 magnitude quake struck in November of 2022. It's not like this was a bottle factory either. We're talking giant panes of glass you'd see on high-rise buildings. Some of the panes broke into large chunks. Others look like piles of razor-sharp sand. What did mom used to say when you broke something? Put your shoes on and get the vacuum? Well, we assume they needed more than a few brooms and vacuums to clean this mess up. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.